Hi everyone, Tara from Tara's Tank Friends here. I have been trying to put up a video about once a month, but I did a project that may have kind of turned out dumb, um, but I wanted to share it with you. I would also like to give a shout out to Jimmy P's Aquariums for giving my channel a shout out on one of his live streams, and I will put the link to his channel in my description. So, if you like projects that might end up turning out dumb, <laughs> go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And now on with the show. This little sort of two container system that I have set up, it's okay, it's not great. This part where I've got an airline in and the methylene blue is working fine, I'll put the eggs in there for one day. And then I was transferring them over to this container with the air stone that just has tank water in it. And the problems with this was that sometimes it would move the eggs around a little too much. Sometimes it would move them around not at all. And sometimes the little piece of yarn from the mop would get stuck to the air stone. And then they were constantly just like on there wobbling. And I do know that too much turbulence can be detrimental to these eggs. This actually wasn't that big of a deal until recently because all of the eggs that I had gotten were not fertilized. They were clear uh, all the way through. And I will actually show you the difference because now I have some that definitely are fertilized. This is one egg from yesterday that I pulled out of the methylene blue. This egg, as you can see, has already begun to turn milky on the inside and has no black spots. That's not a fertilized egg. These eggs are two other eggs that I pulled out of the methylene blue. If you'll notice, there are tiny little black speckles inside the eggs and they're much clearer still. These are fertilized eggs. So I want to make my own egg tumbler or buy one if I can't make my own to better take care of these eggs. I have this python siphon tube. I don't actually like using these for my python uh, because they're a very large diameter and I find that a smaller diameter and longer tube is better suited to my needs. So this I had just laying around as an extra piece. Went to Home Depot and got some PVC attachments. And these will fit together sort of like this. And this actually fits really well right on here. So with those pieces, some airline, an airstone, and some sponge, I'm going to see if I can make my own egg tumbler. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to buy the one off Amazon. We're going to use an automatic center punch to make little divots in the two pieces of PVC that are now connected. You can see that has the flat bottom in there so that the drill bit doesn't walk. Okay, and then we're gonna drill holes at every like flat area around here. We have all the holes drilled and we're going to chamfer them. And how are you going to do that? Well, there are special bits that you can get for doing this. And uh, before I had any of those, what I would do as a cheat was just use a much larger drill bit and not go very far just to take the messy edges off just like that. Just a little bit. Let's see. Let's show well, one. That one wasn't very good. But show one these are a little bit better. Okay. All right, we've got this piece of filter sponge and we're gonna wanna cut circles out of it using this as a guide. Don't cut the tube. We have our two circles of foam cut out and you can see they fit in there pretty snugly. I'm gonna put that in all the way yet. And then the excess I've trimmed up like into little pieces like this. And I can still use these for hot riding filters and stuff, so I'm not going to throw that out. I'm going to get everything cleaned up and we're going to start assembling. 
So we went through a few different ways of making this up and finally came up with one that works the best. We did not end up using a sponge in the top of the egg tumbler because we found it impeded too much water flow and an air bubble was forming between it and the water level and I want a good exchange of water through here. I have the airline running through one of the holes on the side of the base and then the air stone attached. This circular sponge we ended up putting a slit in it so that the air stone can go into it. And there's still sponge material on top, so it's kind of just like stuck on there. And then have a little fake egg there. A little fake egg here. And the tube, I've taken stocking material and just zip tied this on. I will cut this end off, but we'll take this, put it together, and take it over to the tank and see how it works. So this shows the fake eggs moving around, and there is some water exchange happening um, coming in from the bottom and going out from the top. I'm going to have to adjust the air a little bit to get it to where I really want it for the eggs, but this is pretty much the DIY egg tumbler. So I'm going to take it out and put the real eggs in it and adjust the air. So here is the egg tumbler in use. There are four eggs that I believe are fertilized, and every now and then you'll notice they'll hop a little bit. That little thing floating is a piece of fake egg that I put in. But I'm not sure if that's enough movement. Um, but if I turn the air stone up more, then they really start getting jostled around. And I don't want to be too aggressive with them. So I may end up getting the one from Amazon anyway. But I don't have Prime, so it's going to take like a week to get here. And I feel like this is a better solution temporarily than keeping them in the little container with the air stone that just wasn't working very well. And so the answer to can I make my own egg tumbler is sort of, <laughs> uh, but for less than $8 for those PVC pieces and then just using stuff I had already in the fish room, it's not a too bad of an interim solution until I can get a better one. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you found this useful that <laughs> you probably know a better way to do this than I do. Um, but yeah, I thought it was kind of interesting. So hope everyone's having a great day.